each day, people across the country are taking small steps towards making big changes by being Earth-friendly. Whether they've planted the seed that's leaving a legacy, or they've made the choice to save green by being green. I this looked is at this. Solar power golf cart. And you did. It's a hot rod, except that this is all solar panels, right? Yes. In this episode of It's Easy Being Green, we feature real people who found that it just takes one to make a difference. Living. It's a lifestyle being embraced by more and more people every day. To some, it's a lifelong commitment. To others, a brand new opportunity to get involved. You may remember this West Hollywood apartment complex. It was the backdrop for some of the best lying, cheating, and backstabbing in television history. For seven seasons, it was home of the hit show, Melrose Place. I recently spent some time with former cast member, actor, and entrepreneur, Grant Show. His latest endeavor is a great example that sometimes going green isn't just the best option, it's also the best business option. What would you do if you were a Hollywood actor who didn't dig the whole LA nightlife scene? Well, if you're Grant Show, you would get together with a few of your friends and open the Happy Ending Restaurant and Bar right here in West Hollywood. I visited Grant a few months before their grand opening to talk about how they could go green. One of the reasons I wanted to open a place in LA is there's not a lot of, uh, like your, your local, your neighborhood bar. And there's a lot of high end places, a lot of um, nightclubs. But I never liked those places. I never liked the velvet rope. I never liked the kind of having to prove that I was cool enough to get into a place. The finished product was a unique restaurant full of laid back charm, but getting there was no small feat. Welcome to the happy ending. Where it's American food. Our chef, Matthew Gladstone, is putting a little bit of a twist on everything. Perfect, perfect. Loving it. Let me Thank show you, you around. Please. Here's the part that I'm most excited about. Um, this is our bar area. Who's, yeah, look how big it is. I'm it's just like, I love it. We haven't done the research on it yet. I can't, you know, swear to it. But I think that this bar is the biggest bar on Sunset Strip right now, by far. One of the things we wanted to do was keep the old tables and chairs and booths. Let's sand them down and refinish them. That's great, like to repurpose yeah. what was here. Yeah. Very eco. Uh, yeah. We're well, it's <laughs> well, very inexpensive. Right. Yeah. It cost us a tenth of what it would have cost us to put new stuff in. If we had gone out and bought all new tables and chairs and all new stuff, it would have cost us half a million dollars. Grant and his partners don't consider themselves grand entrepreneurs, but little by little, it made sense for the environment and their wallets. So it's a win-win situation when going green can save some green. Our whole reason for going green was we had to put a new roof on. Hmm. And while we were doing that, which is not cheap, <laughs> and while we were doing that, we had to pull out all of our ducting for our air conditioning units. And we realized while putting new ducting up, we were going to save thousands of dollars a month in our, in our air conditioning bill, in our electrical bill. And so we started thinking of other things to do. We'd like, you know, I'd like to talk to you about um, uh, if we go solar. And you think that that would be a viable choice for a commercial building like this? This is 11,000 square feet. It's, it's not necessarily a black and white choice. You know, it's not an all or nothing. You know, you have to go totally solar and recycle everything. You know, if you could, say, reduce your electric bill by 50%, right. Right. I mean, think about 10 years from now what the energy costs will right. be. So oh, yeah, there's a real investment in the future. Although every facet of Grant's restaurant isn't green yet, he's a great example of a regular guy who went green because it made sense. I was also happy to learn that Grant's chef had already incorporated a few green practices in the kitchen as well. Matthew Gladstone. Hi. This is Renee. Hi, Renee. How are you? Good too. Matthew's our executive chef. And so you've already started with um, what we're going to do with our oil. Let's oh, absolutely. I found a small company in Los Angeles. And what they do is they convert my vegetable oil to gasoline. Like uh, a biodiesel? Exactly. I use a zero trans fat anyway just because it's better and healthier. And it healthier. will clog the engine less. Exactly. No, really. Absolutely. I mean, it's such a beautiful cycle how the diesel engine yeah. was designed to run on vegetable oil. Exactly. Uh, everything is not, if it's not organic, it's natural. You know, we just don't use canned products, nothing like that. Every Sunday I am at the farmer's market. Um, but everything that we do is, you know, if I can get the smaller farms, if I can get the smaller producers, they don't always have to be more expensive. 
So little funny stuff that I'm trying to find, you know? You're great. I'm trying. on top of it, man. I'm on, I'm on it, baby. Great. Absolutely. I guess the three major things that we've done so far, um, the new roof and the new, and the new ducting, um, recycling all of our old equipment or all of our old uh, uh, tables and chairs, and um, so far in the kitchen, what we've done is, is we're recycling our old, our old cooking oil. But I'm really looking forward to see some other ways that we can save some money and be green. I love the story that it's almost by default, you know, that these green things were, mm -hmm. are actually going to save you a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, we started because it was cheaper. Yeah. yeah. And then we started getting excited about it. Antsy. We're yeah. ready. You know? <laughs> it's like I'm ready to go. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, thank thank you for thank coming you. down. Thank really you. appreciate really it. Really thank you. As you can see, their hard work has paid off. And now there's a great new bar on the Sunset Strip that has some nice green touches. And to me, that's a happy ending. Coming up, I head out west to meet up with well-known rocker, but not so well-known golfer, Alice Cooper. And we talk about being green on the green. Everybody thinks that, you know, if it's green, it's, it's going to be soft and uh, tree-hugging and everything. Everybody yeah, is, is concerned about it.